Okay, I've got you all in here today to show you a few things that we found out with the ATX which might help you to assess it properly and use it properly. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn the machine on. The first thing you'll notice without any balancing or tuning we've achieved a fairly smooth threshold. Well consider it to be very smooth. Especially in this environment where we're fairly cramped. We've got a lot of objects around one of them being a 50 inch TV uh, and we're not getting any EMI coming in on the machine so we know the circuit is excellent and we know that it's shielded very well which is one of the probably 10 out of 10 aspects of this detector so the first thing I'm going to do is give you an idea that by running a smooth threshold we're not uh, masking any of the targets so you'll notice I've got a 0.3 of a gram nugget here and what I'm going to do is run this across the coil and, and you're going to hear, going from a smooth threshold, the target signal is quite robust. And in detector terms, I'm getting that at a, at a really good height. Now what I'm going to do, is I'm going to grab one of these pretty difficult hot rocks that have come in. And I'm going to demonstrate that uh, we can find, we can knock the hot rock out, which has been pretty much impossible with other detectors. So, it's a signal we're getting to this particular hot rock. So I'm going to balance that out now. Okay, so she's gone. And we're not getting any signal off that particular hot rock. Now I'm going to put that 0.3 of a nugget on that hot rock. And I'm going to pass that across the coil. So you can hear I'm getting quite a good signal off that little piece of gold, which is there, hot rock now, nothing. Another demonstration, I have a piece of gold in the end of this hot rock. So what I'm going to do firstly, is I'm going to knock this out again, with the gold in it. So that's gone, and I'm going to pass that across the coil, and through the rock also. And just purpose of demonstration, I'm not getting any signal off any other part of that rock. Okay, so another little aspect which is unique to this detector that we found is that when we are operating with a small coil like this we're in we're basically using that size mono coil and isn't that cool I don't know it's just unbelievable uh, we're creating hypersensitivity in the coil we're using a small mono we're putting all that energy into a small area and we haven't yet found a place where we couldn't properly uh, balance out these sort of hot rocks but we have heard other people telling us that they have come into a situation and they've developed a technique which absolutely knocks any hot rock out and that is sideways balancing which we haven't been uh, we haven't really done in the past we haven't really thought about having to actually but this machine does it particularly well and I'll demonstrate that to you now so we have a pretty, it's pretty serious hot rock here giving us a pretty large signal so I'll balance that out sideways So that hot rock is now gone. That same small piece of gold, 0.3 of a gram, I'm going to put that on that hot rock.
and as you can tell we're getting quite a nice signal and even if I put that on top I'm still getting quite a nice signal off that small piece of gold.